This is your favorite international radio network, 94.3 Radio 1. And with me is an extremely special guest on the show. Her name is Sonia Dabir. She has represented Maharashtra in India's domestic league, has played four ODIs, 13 T20s. Now, she knows the format of the game, the ongoing IPL, the T20 league. She knows the format, she knows the stress, the pressure, the kind of stamina, the kind of uh, physical and mental preparedness you need for a league like this. I'm in conversation with Sonia in an exclusive on my show today. Sonia, so nice to have you on the show. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Sonia, let's begin with your journey. It's always interesting to know, uh, you know, even <coughs> if uh, it is the fact that, uh, even if it is a fact that women's cricket started way before men's cricket, like you mentioned, but uh, the journey for women's cricket have has been much difficult and a lot more tougher, you know, to be able to get people's attention. So, how did your journey begin? Definitely, you know, uh, I started playing uh, as compared to today's generation. I, it was really very late to start off because I started playing cricket uh, for the competitive level uh, after my 10th first year, exam was over. So it's very okay. late if you compare the girls who play cricket. But yeah, I had uh, read an advertisement in newspaper and that's what I went and started my journey uh, at the Nehru Stadium in Pune. But before that, as everyone played, I used to play in my building society, Gali, everywhere where I got a chance. Nice. Because it was a game, uh, I think, which I loved when I started understanding that game. You know, like yeah. when I when you see people playing, I just went and started, I think. So. But yeah, my journey of uh, domestic cricket or like competitive cricket started from the stadium in 1996, 95. Wow, that's amazing. Tell us about uh, the kind of inspiration you take from the cricketers who are around you, men and women. Yeah, definitely. You know, everyone uh, is inspired as always by Sachin Daniel another than Sachin Daniel. But yeah, there are many women cricketers also who have inspired. And, you know, I was the witness when I, I was... I was very lucky to see that 1996 Women's World Cup very closely, which was held in India. We had few matches at Nehru Stadium. Uh, I had seen 175 uh, in runs knock of Charlotte Edwards right. against Ireland, yeah. I guess. Then uh, Punima Ra, who is my mentor, a big inspiration. Mithali, who has been playing. There are so many other cricketers who have really inspired. Jolan is there, Anju Jain is there. Or to to few uh, the former play, uh, players from other countries, then there is, you know, uh, Fitzpatrick, was, who has inspired Jolan Goswami, actually, who uh, the first bowler for, from Australia. There are many, right. actually. But yeah, and then, then if you'll say definitely Sachin Tendulkar is there, and I'm a big, big uh, admirer and a follower of Rahul Dravid as well, you know, the way that person just a few uh, months back, I had an opportunity to meet him at the NCA. So it is really great to see, you know, and just have a word with them or just listen to them. It gives you so much inspiration. Right. That's so sweet. We're going to slip into a song. Come right back. The conversation with Sonia Dabir continues. She has been following the current league and why not? It is the most sought after game in our country with millions invested in a game that, of course, is the most consumed in India too. So don't go anywhere. This is Afternoons with Annie. On the show with me today, Sonia Dabir, and yes, she has represented Maharashtra in India's domestic league. Now, you do understand the T20 league because uh, you've played this game, at least 13 T20Is that you've played for India. Uh, yeah. The kind of pressure, uh, both physical as well as mental, that one goes through, what is it like? It is definitely, uh, you know, especially if this IPL, if you consider, you know, a person... Uh, is making his debut in this IPL, you know, little things definitely give pressure. I won't say the big, bigger things, but, you know, playing in front of a bigger crowd, this itself to start off with may give a person really a big, big pressure time, you know, because especially when you're playing in your hometown, now it's like Mumbai and Pune, but otherwise it's your hometown, away ground, how many people are watching you, your parents are watching you, there are so many things, but definitely... I will say there are more advantages, you know, because when you share a dressing room with so many um, seasoned campaigners, foreign right. players, how the, <clears throat> the how they work or the, how their approach towards certain game is, you know, there is a lot to learn, to be honest, you know, more than pressure. I'm, I will say that these young players, men players especially, or the women players, 
they will be learning a lot lot many things right. what they play in their domestic circuit but yeah definitely you know physical pressure you know you are um, you you should not get injured the right. most important right. thing which is unfortunately not in your hands correct but you have to preserve yourself how you preserve yourself how you take care of yourself there are so many things actually we learn when you are playing such a big league you know you have to preserve i will say again and take care at the same time you have to see that your your consistency in your performance should be maintained you know that's absolutely. the most important and the thing which pressurizes many players absolutely now in the current ongoing league if we have to talk about a recent uh, mumbai kolkata match pat cummins was not there in the first three matches but he came back after completing his tour and he just blew everybody off in the history of ipl nobody's done actually, such a fast 50 uh, yeah actually i was at the stadium and i had to watch this match so Ooh, i was yes, really happy like to watch yeah <laughs> so you know that uh, that pitch from the start of the game looked like that was bit of helping it was bit of helping the fast bowlers and the way pat cummins and batted it lo- just looked the opposite thing, you know he we just came he started smacking from first ball you know it was just fun and treat to watch him bat you know he, i enjoyed the match last 15 balls i definitely enjoyed absolutely from cricketers to fans everybody was blown away to just watch him do his thing <laughs> and there is uh, faith that is restored in not only the team but mainly in pat and how yeah. he is not only leading his team back home but you are also he's doing an amazing job so you know, it, it fe- felt like he was not in the quarantine but he was maybe practicing somewhere else and he just came and bat so <laughs> it was so it looks so easy and he looked so comfortable over there that he just didn't he he's come back him come down from australia or right. pakistan or whatever he's been quarantine nothing he was just calm played came and just backed everyone it was fun to watch <laughs> we are going to slip into a song come right back and continue talking about the ongoing league some of sonia's uh, favorite players in this league so don't go anywhere afternoon sudani with sonia the beer who's represented maharashtra in india's domestic league in fact she has played uh, t20is for india itself um now that you have retired you've taken on the role of a mum you're planning to come back uh, what are your thoughts of coming back and uh, getting back to the game that has given you so much Yeah, definitely. Actually, I'm coaching in an academy right now. I'm nice. doing one-on-one personal coaching for a few of the girls, and I would definitely would like to come back as a coach uh, in the future. That is so nice. Tell us about some of your players, some of your favorite players this time amongst the seasoned ones and amongst the new players uh, in the ongoing IPL league. Yeah, I, you know, I am a big fan of Ajinkya, and I am just waiting for him to click. Right. <laughs> Again, there are few uh, foreign players who are really you know or the indian young players like uh, badani ayush badani uh, for that matter tilak varma these are the players who have cashed on uh, this opportunity of ipl in a big way and definitely look forward for it and i'm definitely a big fan of uh, csk so i am waiting for them to win <laughs> so let's see wow big <laughs> fan of csk does that mean you're a big fan of dhoni or you're big yes. fan of the entire team No, no. I am a big fan of Dhoni as well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, because at at the, this age also the run out which he did the last match it was yeah. just too good. You know? I read an article somewhere that age just is number for MS Dhoni whether he is wearing you know, India colors or whether whether he is wearing CSK colors. You know the right. timing, seconds timing is just same. Only the clothing colors is different. <laughs> you know it is a, a huge inspiration that if you keep up with your consistency and to be able to give that consistency keep up with your health and mostly i think it's mental health Definitely. that you've got to look after to be able to perform at whatever age you're at right now and yeah, the commitment yeah. you have to the game whoever it is yeah. you're playing for just the game the commitment and the passion and love you have for that game that does come out from players like mahendra singh dhoni we have uh, so many other virat kohli and like you rightly pointed out there are a number of players uh, in every team and throughout i think in the league as well as yeah. uh, in the game of cricket in india that we can look forward to i'm going to slip into a song come right back and talk about women uh, in cricket now and how they are growing don't go anywhere this is sonia the beer an exclusive conversation with the cricketer on afternoons with annie
Sonia the Beer representing Maharashtra as well as played T20Is for India for a while. Uh, tell us about the growth of women in cricket, Sonia. See, it's it's definitely growing very faster for sure. After especially after I said the 2017 World Cup, which had a huge impact on women's cricket. You know, the finals yeah. though we lost the final by just nine runs, but it has created a big big impact on. You know, every now and then you will see a girl who will be practicing in even boys' nets or a special girls' camp is going on. So it has really um, huge fan following as well now. And there are many girls who are, you know, getting into cricket as a profession and looking into it. There are many opportunities in women's cricket, not only when you're playing, but there are match referees. Now, if you if you saw the current World Cup, the match referee for the finals was from India. Right. Uh, GS it was a big honor for us. Right. Unfortunately, our team couldn't reach, but yeah, there was one representation from India, and there are many opportunities like you know, fitness trainers and video right. analysts, match referees, umpiring, scoring. A lot of opportunities have opened up for uh, women's cricket in women's cricket. So I think there are girls who have crossed certain age who do, who feel like I cannot play, but still they have an opportunity to contribute in women's cricket. So yeah, there are not many girls getting into it as in a different profession. That is so good. So we're talking about every city in our country that has opened up uh, to women in cricket. Uh, well, of course, they have opened up to women in uh, every other sport, but uh, typically speaking about the ongoing uh, a T20 league and also the focus that has been on men, which has also shifted to women. It's a very, very good piece of news to be able to celebrate that and to be able to continue and also tell our children and the future generations that we don't have to stick with conventional professions anymore. Uh, it is at the time and age where we can open ourselves up and go after what we really love and what we can be good at. That is extremely important. What is um, What are the future plans for uh, women in a league like uh, an IPL? Yeah, you know, to be honest, when this news had news came, I was like, oh, I wish I would just 10 years younger. <laughs> but just <laughs> <laughs> that jokes apart. But yeah, there are so many girls who play the domestic cricket. They will be getting a huge opportunity to, as I said, you know, share the dressing with our Indian players as well as the foreign players. You know, right. this opportunity will make them... Uh, do better in their domestic circuit so that get, they get a chance to play in that uh, IPL league. You know, this will definitely be uh, helping more girls take on cricket as a profession. And right. definitely, there will be a lot of things happening at the grassroots level also. Because right. if you want to play at a certain level, you should start playing from the under 19, under 16 level itself. Right, right. So, looking forward to an IPL for women as well that are in the talks. Uh, for some time now and hopefully there will be news about it that will be official that will be made official in the coming future thank you so much uh, for your time Sonia thank you thank you so much and also kudos to the kind of uh, effort work and love you have shown to the game of cricket and inspired so many other girls and women along the way pleasure pleasure is all fine thank you so much this is up this is afternoons with Annie back to music one world, your station. Radio.